I've already went ahead and cut all these to length and glued them and everything. It's now dry and it will be ready for testing, but I wanted to give you a couple of pointers on how to actually glue and tape these things to the wax paper so that it's easy to get it back off of the wax paper and you don't break it when you're trying to remove it. That way you actually have something to test and you're not waiting another day for the wood glue to dry. One of the issues I see that students will do is they'll take their wood glue, they'll have their joint, and they just... Put a pile of glue on there and think, yep, that's going to hold. That's going to be good. All that extra glue is not really going to do much in order to help with the strength of it. It's just going to make it a lot more difficult to actually take it back off of the wax paper. So suggestion for the gluing is to actually force a little bit of glue up towards the end of your wood glue and just Place a little bit right on the end of your stick of balsa wood. That way you don't have a lot of excess glue. You can set it in place. You know that it's glued at both of those points. The other issue that students have is when they go to tape down their sticks of balsa wood for their structure, um, they do it in a way so that it can still move and do various things, and that's not good. So with your first length, one of the things that you can do in order to make sure that it stays put is after you put a piece of tape on top of it, go ahead and grab like a popsicle stick and use that to push it down along the edge on both edges. And that way the tape will go all the way down to the edge, come up the entire uh, width of the balsa wood across and back down to the paper again. That eliminates the little bit of movement back and forth that can happen. When it comes to the joints, since you're not using a lot of glue there, it's okay to just set a piece of tape right on that joint there. It will come up pretty easily once that wood glue has a chance to dry.